after all these years. And uh, yeah, look at her splash art. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So much cool stuff going on here. I love the hair. I love the, the diamond pattern on her outfit. She's riding a giant bomb. There's just something about explosives, you know, really yeah. light up our lives. Mm. <laughs> this is this is true. Um, but with that said, I was gonna say we're gonna go into game here, but Nico, I know you worked on her. Uh, would you care to elaborate on the lore a little bit more for Betty La Bomba? Certainly. Bomb King may be the king of bombs, but Betty La Bomba is the bomb queen. Uh, so she had it all. She had the brains, the looks, and the power. Um, she was one of the border lords, and none of the other border lords dared defy her wishes. And her wish was for everything. Uh, she actually designed and commissioned the creation of living weapons, bombs, as you will, uh, meant to bring her enemy's defenses crumbling down. Um, what she didn't expect was kind of a fluke as the warlock she commissioned to make these living bombs ended up something maybe went wrong. One of these bombs started developing a mind of its own and an ego the size of a grumpy bomb. Uh, so having lost her domain to kind of the rampant explosions of this new, you know, bomb king, quote unquote, still to be, obviously she's the, you know, she's the queen. Um, Betty has determined that it's time for her creation to uh, return to his rightful place, which is under her thumb. Now, whether or not that's kind of like working in conjunction, like, oh, see what I made, this, this amazing living bomb, or kind of as bits of scrap to use in her next explosive that's kind of up, uh, yet to be determined, but we know that nothing will stand in the way of her gadgets and explosives as the Bomb Queen reestablishes herself as obviously the rightful ruler of uh, Bomb King's realm. Absolutely. Trouble in paradise, royal uh, feuds, a lot going on there. Yeah, a revenge story for sure, but many years in the making. Many years. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to be going into game here shortly to give you our first look at Betty. There she is. Glorious. A, a true I queen. I love the way she turned out. Praise be. Yeah. She is all about that base. Which I also appreciate. We can even start just get right into it if we want. Um, so yeah. Betty is yeah. a damage character. Sorry, frontline uh, stands, but damage character. <laughs> she has 2100 base health. And I think Fish and I are going to kind of swap off on describing what she does, but I'll yeah. start with her in hand, uh, her grenade launcher. So this is a, a grenade launcher. It fires a grenade from your launcher that can bounce and explodes after a two second timer or on direct content contact with an enemy. Uh, in a relatively small area. The size and damage of the explosion are augmented, uh, increased, if you directly hit an enemy. And then just a couple things to note. Um, as opposed to Dredge, who uh, his projectile kind of stops, as you notice, if it hits the ground, these will keep bouncing, so you can bounce them off the floor or off of walls. Uh, and then they are on a timer based on when they're fired rather than when they hit the ground. Uh, just a uh, bit of distinction there. But that's 510, I believe, damage without direct contact and 550 damage in a slightly larger area on direct contact with an enemy. Nice. I think that would take us to the alternate fire, if I'm not mistaken, which is a cluster grenade. Um, so this is a relatively low cooldown alternate fire um, that uh, explodes and... Uh, also has secondary explosions uh, with the potential to spawn up to six additional explosives after the initial hit. Um, each of these explosives uh, detonates after a short period of time. The initial is after 0.4 seconds, uh, and the secondary is after three seconds. Um, so you've got this uh, initial explosion, and then you've got the, the secondary detonate. Um, and this kind of complements uh, her Q ability, uh, which... Kevin can uh, tell us more about. 
Yeah. And then um, just really quickly on the on the cluster grenade, something to keep in mind is that at least currently, uh, a secondary explosion will spawn on anything that is enemy team colored. So that includes, which is untraditional, right. um, shields, deployables, uh, everything. So not just um, champs. Yeah, not just not just champs, illusions, and pets. Moving on to her Q, her ability one uh, called Hail of Bomb. Oh, goodbye, goodbye, Cassie. Hail of bombs. Uh, so Betty La Bomba will send out uh, a magazine chock full of explosives that spray upwards and outwards to land randomly in a large area around where it deploys. Each explosive deals, I believe it's 390 damage in a relatively small radius. But think of it as almost a weeping willow slash firework of, of explosives. This is a little bit of a longer cooldown. Um, and is great for area denial. Slap that on the point. Uh, there are some cards that also modify um, modify that a little bit, so you can play with that a little bit. All around complementing kind of her explosive kit. Very effective in enclosed spaces as well. And that would take us to her movement ability, explosive personality. This is a lot of fun. This is very manic, chaotic energy. Uh, and so she essentially has a multi-jump, um, but it, it's she gets one, two, and then three jumps before it fully goes on cooldown. If she doesn't use all three within the period of time, then uh, uh, they will go away. But she can essentially triple jump, and she can um, kind of weave uh, between other abilities while she's doing that as well. Um, so uh, there are also blasts. Um, as she propels herself, that do 300 damage to enemies within a radius of 35. Um, and uh, there are some talents that modify this that we'll get to shortly, but not before the ultimate. Yeah, she sure does have an explosive personality, so I really do love it, uh, <laughs> the naming conventions of this. Yeah, even before, yeah, I, I, ha huge shout out to Tiana Camacho, by the way, who uh, is yeah. also our Aceris and our star sister Vora, and I believe uh, another Demonette skin as well. Um, but I she love where this voice turned out. Absolutely fantastic. Um, it was also a great help. You know, I, I ended up writing, writing the script and she provided along with, shout out to Carla, if you're watching. Thank you, Carla, mm -hmm. uh, for providing a lot of insight uh, on the script writing and feedback and everything. It was really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, and then, yeah. okay, so let's move on to the ultimate. Long live the queen. So you are summoning the largest bomb in your arsenal and jumping on, gaining the ability to control your flight with a limited turn radius. Hitting an enemy uh, while you are riding the missile will cause an explosion, dealing a 1700, I believe, damage and knocking the enemy away uh, and also knocking you away as well to provide a little bit of extra cushion space so you can re-engage at a medium distance. Um, and then you can also reactivate this ability to send the rocket flying out in a straight line towards where you are looking. Um, there's still potentially some tweaking to be done about how forgiving we want to be as far as where you're looking when you send that out. But it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun to ride into battle or send it uh, for a combo. So let's go ahead and see that in game right now. I definitely have a strange love for this ability. Excellent. Viva la bomba. Yeah, so people might have seen me tweet that out yesterday. Yeah, dismount. There was a reason for it. it it's literally her <laughs> voice line for her ultimate. Um, and shout outs to um, the Latinas and Latinos of uh, high res group. Um, a lot of them, and, and especially Carla, um, kind of provided uh, a lot of insight to kind of appropriately, you know, make everything come to life with uh, her being not just Latina, but uh, Afro-Latina. So, um, and also uh, Tiana Camacha, uh, if I'm saying that correct, uh, is also uh, Afro-Latina. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of the perfect pair. And I just love the way that everything turned out. Definitely lend some authenticity to this. Um, uh, the personality, the voice pack, uh, Kevin's a very talented, designer but that lived experience is not something that he possessed so the collaboration to get this was excellent and i really like how it turned out things are made better by the melding of experiences of a very talented group of individuals which we have 
very glad. Now, um, before we get into the skins that she will also come with, uh, do we want to just kind of give a brief rundown through the talents uh, and then head on sure. into that? Yeah. So talent one is going to be Fiery Disposition. I've used this one a lot. Um, so she has explosions in a lot of parts of her kit. And with this talent, any explosive damage will also apply a dot um, for 3% of their maximum health uh, every second uh, for one and a half seconds. Uh, and then you can refresh the duration um, with subsequent explosive damage. Her second talent is called Controlled Fury. Um, this reduces the range of the hail of bombs by 50 percent um to clarify the range is kind of the the, the radius of this the random circle that um, bombs will hit on the ground when using hail of bombs uh, and reduces the cooldown of that ability by two seconds and then uh kind of bounce is going to be affecting her explosive personality movement ability um reducing the movement speed and decreasing the distance that she jumps but also reducing the cooldown by a impactful six seconds if you want to jump more often yeah i uh i love the variety and just you know i can't wait to see what kind of builds and what the community uses. So let's uh, take Absolutely. a look at some of her voice lines. And then after that, we'll jump into her season pass skin. Now that was awesome. Whippa! I am explosive. You, you are pretty cool. Terminado, terminado. I shall return. Así que, uh, sorry. Por favor. Gracias. Sí. No quite. Stepping away para un momento. Now That's that just... was awesome. It's dripping with personality. I love that. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love how much it fits her and with that being said, uh, other things that fit her, I really do love her season pass skin that we will be showing off here now, uh, the Queen of Diamonds. So this skin is limited and again, is unlocked through those who own the season pass 2022. And this skin will become unobtainable after the season pass 2022 has finished. Yeah, I like. Uh, it looks like looks like of... she's going with the Nico hair for now, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, Pre-shave. I was just getting really yeah. into this champion, and as I was as I was developing, as I was designing her, so I just I felt like I needed to I needed to get the hair as well, you know. Yeah, we yeah, we I live in a society, I... Nico. We live. In oh a society. no. <laughs> <laughs> the hair feels like a very circus nod to me, whereas the rest of the outfit is very like poker or, or Trump themed. And I, uh, and I like the playing card vibe out of that. Oh, yeah, it is quite a lovely turn for her. And let's go and look at her uh, recolor, which will be available uh, via direct purchase for uh, crystals or gold, as well as uh, those who have the season pass instantly unlock it. Uh, Royal Explosive. I obviously love love pink my nails are pink right now so <laughs> i love the pink theme going on here i think it's very fitting also seeing her with some pink hair yeah this one gives me a lot more manic pixie vibe which is also a fun direction there's there's so many hooks in her uh characterization that we can pull her in different directions and a lot of them are a lot of fun she is truly the queen of bombs a true queen <laughs> Um, I uh, bow our true down queen. to her. I bend, I bend the knee. Um, mm. And our last one to go over here is the Golden Betty, which uh, for those of you who are those uh, mastery chasers here, that's right. Uh, getting level 50 with Betty will get you this Golden Betty La Bomba skin. Very regal. The race begins. Oh, yeah. I always love seeing who you know is going to be the first i know a lot of the times i think it's been like creepers a lot of times and we're just like we haven't even give given out uh two times champion xp right now you are 
rolling through this. <laughs> so, you know, shout outs to those who grind 